only probity. Free Biafra. Free Ambazonia. Justice for Africa. Yes, once again, fellow Biafra lovers of freedom, men and women of goodwill, conscientious people wherever you are all over the world, I will say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some of you, good night, depending on your time zone. This is Radio Biafra Extra, and we are streaming live through Radio Biafra London. Being anchored by the deputy leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Maziuchu Kafomefo, he is from Ambatete. About it is in Anambra State, and Anambra State is Biafra land. He's the man who have assured us that he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. He is standing in a deputizing capacity on behalf of our Supreme Leader Mazenandi Okukano, the Prince of Afari Beku, heir to the throne of Ibeku Kingdom. The one and the only man that stands up to speak for the collective interest of the Biafran people. For almost six decades now, nobody has been able to do that. He is from Afali Beku. Afali Beku is in Umuahia. Umuahia is in Abia State, and Abia State is Biafra land. And by the special grace of Chukuki Kabia, my remain George Unibe. I am from Abo. Abo is in Delta State, and Delta State is Biafra land. Without wasting much of our time, we must proceed to acknowledge the Creator. Chukuki Kabia, my the one who sits in heaven and presides over the affair of man. For he is the one who has set our feet upon this path that we must follow. And in my humble way, acknowledge him this morning. El Shaddai, El Shaddai, Elohim and Adonai, age to age was still the same. By the power of your word, El Shaddai, El Shaddai, Elohim and Adonai, Lord, I praise and lift you high. El Shaddai, El Shaddai, El Shaddai, Elohim and Adonai, is to age or still the same by the power of your name. El Shaddai, El Shaddai, Elohim and Adonai, Lord, I praise and lift you high, El Shaddai. Anjin ajage mau, nihina imaramai, Ihonanya ni nagi ubiomage ujuru anyanya dadiu ingwe gimbangwe o odi onye dikage ibu wafa no mega anye ni ne na sina ne de mau isi. Of course, this morning we must continue as always. Our topic is simply a manipulated situation that requires a critical analysis. A manipulated situation that requires a critical analysis. This is all we need to do. And we see things falling back in its rightful place. I could never be more grateful to the creator, Chugo Kikabiyama, for he has said before us, leader and leaders. Leader in the person of Mazen and the Kano. Leaders, are not put his deputy, who understand the situation we are in. Very manipulated one. People will not understand. We must critically analyze it. Because there are certain things that happens to us as a people. They constantly repeat themselves. They come in different version or model. But they are all targeted at the same thing. Every year since I was born, the same story from one cockaboo story to another. But this is hate speech. 
from one conkaboo story to another. Before our very eyes, we see people who have been planted inside the zoo called Nigeria to destroy more than 20 generations. And some of them are old and stinking and rotten. God knows where they are hiding in. If we do not analyze it, they keep playing with us that way. When you are sick, it is your right to know the type of sickness that is plaguing you. And when you know, and you know this sickness will kill you, you know what to do. Most of you don't even know that. People living with HIV now are living more healthier life than those without HIV. Because they know they have HIV. They know they're going to die. They take the best care of them. Some of them very plumpy and robust, living normal life because they have critically analyzed the situation they found themselves in. I understand that in those days, when you have gonorrhea, as a man, you are dead. They call it all Yanguki. Seven days you are dead. It was critically analyzed. And it doesn't make any sense to anybody because nobody cries that they have gonorrhea. We just go to on a child bridge there, but buy some tetracycline. It's gone. Because these are situations that are critically analyzed. If you fail to do something, that thing will do you. It's as simple as that. And then year in, year out, we keep crying for the same thing, doing the same thing over and over again. And then they keep using the same formula to undo us. But believe me, we're not going anywhere. Because speaking, we say, Mama, no go sleep, he no go sleep. And those people who think they have held us down, we will assure you that the more you delay the restoration of Biafra, your misery will know no bound. We are coming for all of you. Of course, when we say we are coming, they think we are carrying AK-47. This is the only thing they have dreamt of. This is the only thing they expect from us, that we pick up arm and then we follow them. No, we shall, but not in your own time. And you can join on domain will remove them. And you can join on domain will remove them. And you remove them. If you understand what I, I, I'm saying, well, it's okay for you. And so we must understand that our situation is manipulated. And as a result, we must critically analyze it. One of the greatest challenges we are having as a people of Biafra today inside the zoo called Nigeria is that our situation and circumstance has been manipulated. And so we're constantly being victimized because we have failed to critically analyze the situation and circumstance we have found ourselves. The concentration of some of the questions we will be considering this in this broadcast is actually to serve as an eye-opener to all of us who are being oppress through manipulation. Number one, corruption, as we all know, is the greatest epidemic that have ravaged the world, even though we have different type of corruption. But corruption still remain. Corruption, the greatest epidemic, the greatest menace, the greatest evil that have been unleashed on the world is corruption. It comes in different form, in different shape and guise. We are not studying corruption. Corruption is anything that makes the original thing to lose its value. When we talk about Christianity it's because corruption has entered. When we talk about Muslim, corruption has entered. When you talk about Ogomo, corruption has entered. Corruption is everywhere rav trying to ravage America. May God have mercy upon Donald Trump. And if you are not a fan of Donald Trump, I'm sorry, I won't apologize to you. Corruption is in China, it's in Japan. Corruption is everywhere. But the one in Nigeria, according to comedians, is Ogapatapata of it all. The whole corruption, their father, their mother, their in-law, their cousin, every corruption-related family member, all of them are in Nigeria. But we must critically analyze this situation in order for us to understand what is actually happening. We have criminal individuals. We have partners in crime. And we have facilitators. For corruption to be able to 
having part in any society. You must first of all have three components that makes it function. Number one, the corrupt individuals. Who are they? Critically analyze them. Because when people come, like in the case of Nigeria, they we are fighting Kwarachan, Kwarachan, Kwarachan. You will follow them as a baboon and chimpanzee that you are. As a hopeless idiot that you are. Facebook caught me off. It's self-determination. They call it hate speech. It's, it's somebody wake up one day and act genocidia by the name Buhari. A Boko Haram sponsor by the name Buhari. There is no atrocity that has been committed in Nigeria that is you cannot link it to this man. And then he wake up one day, everybody starts saying, Oh, he's an integrity man, he's a corruption man, he's fighting corruption. I hope you are enjoying your corruption because this is the beginning of corruption. May Buhari fight corruption till all of you are dead in the era. You see, hey, corruption, corruption, corruption. If you are able to analyze these three points, you will know who is fighting corruption and who is not fighting corruption. Number one, who, who is this individual that is promoting corruption? Ask yourself. And then having been able to answer that, then ask yourself the second question. Who are the partners in crime? People get, we have what is known as partners in crime. Somebody eat. Yes, Buhari is a corruption fighter and he's a corruption in personification. Who are the people aiding him? And then when some people are coming, leaving their own country, their own country to talk to you as a Biafra, you will know where they are coming from. Oh, we love the president of Nigeria. He's fighting corruption. Who gave Malaysian president, Indian president, American president, who gave them the right to tell us who is fighting corruption in our land? All of them are partners in crime. And these are the things they don't want you to see because it's hate speech. How can you indict them? You she. And then having said so, you need to find out the third part of it. Who is the facilitators? Who are the facilitators? Why do you think Godfatherism is prevalent in Nigeria? The people you see on the social media, on the social media platform, they are the there are Godfather, you don't hear their name. Go and ask good luck, Ebiri Jonathan. He will tell you who made him to congratulate Buhari, late Buhari, even before I call election. And so when you are able to analyze critically the people behind this three strategic location of Porochon, and then you will know what you are talking about. And now let's consider the following question. Number one question. Who are the most corrupt people in Nigerian government? Who are the most corrupt people in Nigerian government? When you talk about Nigeria, who are the most corrupt people? And then you move ahead with the same question. Who are the corruption facilitators? To the next one. Who are the partners in crime? If you know who are the corruption politician or corrupt politician in Nigeria, find out who is their partner in crime. And then find out who is the facilitators. And then the overall question should be, why is it that in the case of corruption in Nigeria, Biafrans are the only one facing corruption charges? Let's be sincere. Ubudu kile ne mo kanwe, nande kanwe, nande kanwe, oh hamadike. No, if you are able to analyze it, all of a sudden, where LPs can choose to be a chimpanzee and a very civilized baboon, that is his business. But he should be grateful to the creator. It's not as if the battle is over. Most of you will not notice that. Immediately our leader made that mention, made that broadcast. They have. They are now deciding to to drop uh, a piece, uh, corruption charges. They are. Americans should investigate their FBI. Senators in America, you must investigate your FBI because they are menace in Africa. All of you, we are watching all of you. We're talking about referendum. The next thing, FBI brought eighty Igbo. Uh, they were indicted. 
FBI, come and investigate P. Uh, Onyema now. Let's tell you how much you collected from that money, if there is anything like that. Idiots. Facebook cut me off. Most of you don't know. Go online now. You will see Nigerian speaking grammar. Uh, uh, one lawyer from the Blues has come to petition Nigeria that they should not extradite uh, MP Sonyama. That if they extradite him, it is not good. They all grow up in Anambra. Both of them are very gentleman, disciplined man. Uh, we are telling you, don't extradite him to America. Uh, don't do this one to this one. Britain will pay for what they have done. If and the politicians, senators in America will let FBI to rubbish their, their name in the mud. We will help them do that. You will, we may not be able to do anything, but we will let the world know everything about you. You people can't stop us. You can't stop us. You were once in the same position we found ourselves. If your FBI have become so corrupted that their issue need to be addressed, we shall address them on this radio, Biafra. All of a sudden, Nigeria have woke up now. They want to reconsider LPs. I beg you, take LPs and indict him. Let us finish the case of corruption. Let us fight corruption on radio, Biafra, while we wait for referendum. Idiots. And so when FBI begin to indict Biafra, FBI, Kwano, who is aware of all the transactions they are using to sponsor Boko Haram? The same FBI who know how much Hillary Clinton spent to sponsor Boko Haram and to destroy the government of America. The same FBI who know what Nigerian ambassadors across the globe are doing. The same FBI. You think we don't know how you operate? Every you people should respect yourself. We critically analyze. What is pushing a whole FBI, almighty FBI of America, to be looking into small, small boy cases like IPOB? You people are very stupid. We will tell you, CNN, BBC, they moved it. They want to lynch us with the media as they have always been doing. They moved it in the, oh, the, what they are saying is LP, so, Alain Onyema, Alain Onyema, Alain Onyema. The next thing you would have heard, they will remove Alain Onyema. You begin to hear, uh, uh, Igbo Ma, Igbo Ma, one Igbo Ma, one Igbo Ma. Thunder will fire all of you. It's not trending again. Most of all of you go back to social media. They are not talking about Alain Onyema. We will tell you IPOB is powerful. You will not understand. Believe me, we are still on the ground. But those of you holding us down, you are not going anywhere. Ask yourself those questions. Analyze it critically. You begin to see clearly. And that is why here in IPUB, we tell you we won't be Afra. Do not be in a hurry or that in a hurry. You sit back fast in your seatbelt because we are in for a very long drive. We will make sure that at the end of this journey, only those who stand that claim will remain standing. British government come, should come and do now. Yoruba should bring out there. Roll out your social media. I thought you had monopoly over social media. That is when I see people doing gra gra. You think you have monopoly? To fear what? You are watching it. You are keeping men here. But it is simple. We have corrupted individual. We have partners in crime in terms of corruption. We have uh, facilitators. But the question is, why is it that every corruption people, every corruption people, honestly, I can't trust the Yoruba people. I can't trust them. If my mother is Yoruba, I will dismother her. God know naturally with atrocity of Yoruba. I can't come from Yoruba. And then I'm very grateful. And those of you planning to marry Yoruba, may the Lord have mercy upon you. But the Yoruba person said something. First, it was uh, one Igbo man. Second, it was one Igbo man. Yes, Igbo, another Igbo man. Yes, another Igbo man. You can mention all their names. Now it is another Igbo man fighting corruption. What are the lack of uh, the only our salmon FBI or any criminal investigation issue keeps around the world to investigate? Hey, Abacha loot, Abacha loot. You hear Abacha loot because Abacha is dead. If Abacha is alive today, they won't say that nonsense. They can't open their stinking garbage mouth to say that nonsense. They can't. Then you ask yourself question. Look at Onaya now. Onaya now is saying that uh, he's surprised that people are saying that uh, the man in Aso Rock is not Buhari. But Onaya is useless. If you know Onaya, tell Onaya we told my younger brother not to betray him. Most people don't know when Onaya was suspended for over six months in office, it was my own younger brother they put to represent Onaya. We called him and said, don't let them play into this nonsense. Because what they did to Alam is what they did to Onayen. But maybe Onayen need to die. 
woefully, shamefully, disgracefully. On the hand, she find out what happened to Ibuli. British government is fighting corruption for Ibuli. British government fought corruption for Alam Ishiye. Why the British government and all these FBI are not fighting all the Marodiko, all the Obasanjo, all the Babangida? Or why are they not fighting them? FBI is aware that Nigerians are lazy youth, which is inclusive of Buhari's son. Yusuf Buhari, but he's the fourth richest individual, youth in the whole world. FBI can't investigate that. Idiots. Facebook cut me off in the era. You ask yourself, question. when you are able to talk or understand all these things, how they function, you will see Biafra will come faster. And of course, Biafra will come. Biafra will come. You see, you are appointed opposition to lead something a movement bigger than you, he can only overwhelm you because the deed is done. Biafra will come. And then let's go to the next question. They are fighting corruption. Only where they see Igbo man, corruption fighting, they, they are not very expert in the Oshi. These are criminals. But if you were to be a honorable criminal, we will respect you. Now look at how all of you are reducing yourself to common thieves. Because of issue of Biafra. We will help you. We will advertise you. To oh, help Sonyama, he has stolen money. He's indicted into America in the Oshi. FBI, bring the case now. Roll the boat on. When America, some criminal individuals in America use Ali Button to, to rob hell out of Niger Delta, as they call the lunatics in Biafra land. Rob hell out of you. They call it scandal. So this is LP scandal. Nayamodo scandal. Eh? If I know about scandal. No, they are all scandal. Jim Wobodo scandal. I just a call scandal. Don't call them that. Call it scandal. Ndiyoshi. They give it beautiful name to, to, to project their innocence. But they are more guilty than devil. If Evans is our side, Yoruba, man, you will not hear about that matter. But because of the atrocity of Boko Haram, they no longer talk about the issue of heaven. Hey, the kidnapper, the kidnapper, so they tinubu with rotten teeth. They, they insult our people. Idiots. Number two, the issue of genocide. Difference. The issue of genocide, as far as we can concern, are concerned, there are so many. When you talk about the issue of genocide, the world keep telling you uh, uh, about so many genocide that are taking place. They will constantly tell you, oh, you have Rwanda genocide, you have Ethiopian genocide, you have African genocide. Everybody is singing genocide, genocide. Jewish genocide, Holocaust genocide, Tototororo genocide, everywhere genocide. But they read genocide, they are trying to hide it. Ask me why. Everything they thought they hidden from us is coming up. Yes, we agree. Somalia genocide, Israel genocide, Arabian genocide, even American genocide. We agree. But why are they running away from Biafran genocide? These are the critical questions that require critical analysis because these are manipulated situation. They wanted to kill us. The same way they wipe out the pygmies of Congo, wipe out the Tarasitators, the Red Indians of America, among other black natives across the globe. They wipe them out. There are many countries today that I can assure you that the original indigenous, the, the, most of them start coming out recently. Go to Brazil. The original Brazilians, they were hiding in the caves. Why were they hiding? They were hiding for terrorists like Britain. So they will not. Are these people really human? Ask yourself. They keep telling you, oh, it, the, the, the Nigerian will constantly tell you, and eh, this is what led to Rwanda genocide when they were debating the useless talk about hate speech. You know, when they come on radio and you do hate speech, it leads to war. But is it hate speech that led Nigeria and British government, among other chiefs like Russia, all of them? Egypt to descend to wipe away tiny Biafra where they hate speech. The Dojuku use hate speech. That is the mistake he made. Idiots. All of you gathered against the tiny Biafra. 
you wanted to wipe us out. You buried us actually. The same way you buried the Jewish people in the gas chamber, this time you dug the ground to bury us, you never know that we will seed. And now look at where we are. Critical analysis. Anybody seeing you telling you, oh, hate speech can cause war, tell the person that thunder will fire the person. It is as simple as that. Oh, did the hate speech, did the hate speech make, did Ojuku make hate speech? Did you kill our people because of hate speech? But nobody talks about Biafran genocide. It doesn't exist. But gradually they are talking about it. Did hate speech make you to come and kill over 10 million of us trying to bury us alive? And then nobody's talking about it. It could only be as simple as ABCD. They are involved. Britain will make sure you don't talk about it. And so the, the genocidians that are involved talk with impunity, spit on the grave of those they have murdered, and they think they can walk away from it. But who were these people that they should trample over a thousand victims of Biafra and walk away with it? It is not true for them, not in their life or their next life. But the only joy and glory they have now is to have their sword dropping by the blood of our people. But we shall respond at the right time. Oh, America, why did you not intervene to save the generation of Biafrans, 1967 to 1970? America said, ah, we never knew. We were in Vietnam. We were fighting war. We agree. We believe. Call FBI to order. Because you are such an idea, mama. And they're going to, oh, we never knew. We were trying to impeach Donald Trump. That is what we were doing that time. Or maybe there will be another story. Who the heck is this even who? British government were there propelling lie. Hey, you know, there is draft inside the rainforest, and then uh, we are working hard. These people, they are suffering from malnutrition. They will never see it. Because the people that will be indicted is the people who would have indicted somebody. You critically analyze your situation, and then you don't run to London to help you. The day air peace, Alan Unyama killed himself. Was that day he went to gather some lunatics all the way from South Africa, and then they begin to sing, "Arise, Kabaja, Nigeria, Ikalobe, Idaba, Badala." Alan Unyama should go and listen to those people. They look like a Kegas club because Buhari, even Jubri, all the senator, I challenge you, they can't sing national anthem. All those young intellectuals, they don't know how to sing national anthem. But even at this stage, every kid can sing Biafra national anthem. This is how much we love our country. Land of the rising sun, we love and cherish. Be love our hope, land of our brave heroes. We must defend our lives or we shall perish. Let me not go that way. But you call your senators, idiot ruling Nigeria. They sing national anthem. You can say, oh, Nigeria, oh, I can't be, oh, 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 Facebook will descend so low to be working with Yoruba 419 to undermine us. We, we, you can only delay us. You can't stop us. Let us critically analyze our position. We are the one who's supposed to be dragging them to court. Why did you kill our fathers? Why did you do this? I was not born then. Even many, many years, I was not born. But everything you did is glaring because you didn't repent. You continue that way. Even five years after the war, I was not born. But people will imagine. How did these people know all these things? It is because what you did to our father, you have not repented. You are still doing it to us. And this begin to make IPOB member to analyze critically. And now we know the truth. Ask yourself a question. Why is it that 90% of the resources in nigeria is actually coming from biafra land but it's our land that we never be allowed to develop they just bring some changes and give some idiots who are from biafra land and they stop yapping shell is doing a very good work of sponsoring terrorism shell is doing a very 
good work of causing communal crisis. Shell is doing very good work of destroying and damaging our land. They are, we give it to them. They have monopoly over it at the moment. But Shell and the owner of Shell, we will chase you to the end of the world when the time comes. That's yourself. With all the love Shell have for you, Guni people. All the love Shell have for you, Bayasa people. All the love Shell have for you in Delta State. Why is their headquarter in Lagos, Yoruba land? They say, oh, they are militant. But they are moving to Opis. And they are going to prefer to go to Boko Haram camp. And then one prostitute from Britain, they call her low commissioner. She was coming to shake her useless bumbo here in Biafra land. Idiots everywhere. But this is what you don't like. But in the real sense, idiot is better than you. It's like when we call Nigerian zoo. So be like, how did they call us zoo? We, because we have not seen a proper name to give to all of you. Idiots. You are worse than zoo. We must learn to analyze our condition, situation and circumstance, critically, or else you will be praising the same people who are killing you. We are shouting now, look for IPOB closer to you and John. Look for IPOB closer to you and John. Some of you think we are jobless. You used to say that anyway, but it, it, it doesn't ring bell any longer. Oh, they are miscreants, they are jobless, they are taught. But at least we have been able to make the world see that the Nigerian politicians, governors, senators, and all, they are the retout. We are the indigenous people of Biafra. We are. Look for IPOB and join. Don't let anybody deceive you. And then the final question we need to answer ourselves this morning is, why is it that Biafra are the first country in Africa to activate the right to self-determination? If there is anybody fighting, I think in Ethiopia, they've gone for a referendum, BBC, CNN, they won't talk about this because uh, it, 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 will, it will break their ego. But check every country that has fought for self, the right to self-determination and they have received them. Biafra is the first country in Africa to activate the right to self-determination. The question is, why is it that up to this moment, Biafrans are still on the same trail. If you critically analyze it, you see that the same people who will say, okay, go, they are not done with stealing. When they have finished stealing, nothing to steal again, then they move back. If for any reason you revolve yourself, they will not come and use the army to save you. I think they are pushing the army now to West Africa. But they are not trying to solve the problem in West Africa. They are coming to help murder, kill, and rape in order to properly position themselves as God. You know, they create problem, and then they come to pretend they have the solution. They pretend they are God. Do you, see? Do you hear of uh, IMF? Is it you know what they call it? International Monitoring Guinea. You think they are there to look at African economy, to help African economy grow? It's a lie. They are there to make sure that you don't sell anything in Africa without their knowledge. They are the one who fees price. You are selling slaves from Africa. They are the one that fees price. Whatever you want to do in Africa, they are at the helm of negotiation table. The question is, being the first country in Africa to activate the right to self-determination, what is our sin? Why our issue should not be heard? Yoruba people now are saying, oh, don't let them do witchcraft meeting in, in Biafra now. Please, people who are organizing witchcraft meeting, the nursing witchcraft meeting, tell me, let me give you location. Idiots everywhere. When you were celebrating idol worship in the name of First Stack, 1977, Britain was a head of affair with Imaru Diku. Millions flowed. Now we want to celebrate our own witchcraft. And may God be with all those who, were, who did witchcraft celebration. May you bring more of witchcraft celebration because we need it. And please, if you have witches or wizards, come and give me, let me chop and teach all these uh, useless idiots on checking point what they need to do. That is why I tell all of you who have our bet, those of you who can poison, please go and poison them and give them our bet and stop misplacing your priority. Why are we still here? This is a question we must ask. Be are friends all over the world. You can really prove us wrong in these four instances. And then we we'll stop agitation. But if you are unable to do that, please, Reason and think critically because our target is Biafra. We don't want to take that which belongs to another. We are here for one reason and one reason alone. We want to go home.
I'll be back in a minute. Oh, na, na. Land of the right and sound. John Lovine. My originality. Land of the right and sound. Land of the right and sound. We are children of the most high, God by the name of God, the Creator, wise men from the east, south and the middle, great be our friend, keep all, we take killing to idol worship and hell, we lost the face of our God. And as we one load in I don't worship and the British enter then hey, training on the Niger exploiting your people training by battle you give me palm or you learn the soup to them enter then I brought in Civilization brought in your religion and told us about America and we embraced them. I never knew they've got a material vote with religious pitted us amongst our brethren with denomination. Tear us apart, building churches, schools, and hospitals. We never knew we had to pay this much to be your place forever. And oh, not So we fought so hard against them systems, fighting against them schism. We fought so hard against them systems, fighting against them schism. But our lives have gone to war. At the very spot we left out where we got. Now it's the time to be restored. Great Piafra be restored. I want freedom for my people. Freedom, freedom for Biafra. Why don't you tell them they want an independent Biafra? Oh, they're fighting for their freedom. So we own everything to do for the Gabbiama to ask us to come. Not for our own mind, nor for our own will, but by the great of the most power. Back in 1914, amalgamation, colonial masters, criminal masters. I'm a scenery soldier, Frederick Luger, brought together all them captives, including Java people, them Europeans, and them Iranians, and so many other people called us Nigeria, Niger area. Oh, Nigeria, people with different religion, different beliefs, yeah, different in culture and tradition, tradition, different language, different in everything, everything, over standing under reasoning, first to coexist together.
schedule In the plant of God's future soul Describe it as oil and a water That can never, never be said Planted the carbons Them represented them Yes, sir, at this moment, our lines are open. Our WhatsApp line is 070-815-45642. 070-815-45642. It's our WhatsApp line. If you are a beer friend, you have not yet joined IPOB, please send us your data here. Anywhere you are in the world, the coordinator there will contact you. Those in heaven, those in hellfire, those with Allah collecting 27 virgin. We have a coordinator close to you. Send them your name, your location, and your phone number. We will come for you. Our direct line is 081-221-52971. 081-221-52971. Special number for the female is 081-288-58614. Special number for the female, 081-288-58614. And then I must call upon Biafran's musician and artist. You are a Biafran musician. You are a Biafran artist. You are a producer. This is the gathering of the people with angelic voice. Begin to come home. We want to know who sang all this music. The music I just played now. I understand it's a product of one of our brothers from Enugu. And many of you who started playing music to support Biafra, we want to know you. We want to know your song. We have opened the forum and we have started again. And Sister Makai Kuo is there to collect your data because we will never forget you. When South Africa cried for apartheid, you people sang for them. And now we are crying. We are singing for ourselves because at the end of the day, the car will not get tail. Now God, they pursue tail for them. And Peki will not get who they advise them. If they learn advice, when people will get the advice, believe me, we want to get your music. We want to know who you are. We want to know where you are coming from. Don't make any mistake about that. When we say we are here for total restoration of Biafra, we miss no words about that. Have it at the back of your mind. You should stand up, rise up for your freedom. It's a freedom song. Freedom song, and together we save our land. Yeah, no. Freedom song, and together we save our land. Yeah. Are you an IPO member? Are you a Biafran? Or are you a lover of freedom? Here, Here is, is the good, good news, news for you. you. IPOB is creating a forum to unite all Biafran recording artists who has recorded a song or an album concerning the restoration of Biafra. Just send your WhatsApp number to plus two three four nine zero three nine two five nine two double one for you to join. Again, the number is plus two three four nine zero three nine two five nine two one one. All hail Biafra! Biafra, Biafra we hail you. Yes, men and women made this song. It will amaze you. Some of them are not musicians. 90% of Biafran freedom songs you hear are made for by people who didn't go to musical school. They are not even musicians. Because it is in our DNA. We do not apologize for it. You are a Biafran musician now. This is your time to come together. Send your WhatsApp link there. Those in charge of that department will contact you. For we are going home. We must know what each and every one of us have done. This is not the time. You see, I was talking about the, those uh, people that were killed in Enugu coal mining. And somebody actually called and said, I remember the name of one of them. A musician used him to sing. And then you begin to see the role our musicians as artists are singing. Let me tell you, art producers are welcome here. And I tell you because many musicians, without the producer, they can't do anything. If Nigeria will recognize all those people singing, I don't juggle do, I don't juggle do, I'm a baba me lo, I'm a baba me lo, we will recognize you. Of course, the journey has just begun. We are Biafrans, and make no mistake about that. And then we must remind us about our mothers who want to showcase that our mothers who marched in 1929 are still alive and living through them. Sorry, people of Biafra. Arise, O 
all children of Chukwokikabiyama. Arise, lovers of freedom. IPOB, one family. All hail Biafra. Good history can hardly be forgotten by the indigenous people. And history will always repeat itself. The great women of Biafra, great. Oh yes, my people. The Association of Biafra Action Women, ABAW, is here with us in London for a special anniversary and remembrance. Biafra Women Revolt, 90 years on. Theme, the cry of our mothers. Oh, what a wonderful program to attend. The cry of our mothers. The cry of our mothers. Are you a woman? Are you a true father or true mother? Do you really care for your child or children? Do you truly care for the future of your family? Are you a member of the great family of the indigenous people of Biafra anywhere in the world? Are you an Ikwere woman? Ibibio, Idoma, Ejo, Ibu, Egala, Izon, Ivanke, Anna. This is a wonderful program for Biafrans all over the world. Are you a lover of freedom anywhere around the world? This program is for you. And there will be a live streaming on Biafra television. Date, 30th November 2019. Time, 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. Venue, Rose's Club, number 16, Bureau Road, Woolish, London, SE187LH. It is time we cry out loud to the world. It is time the great women of Biafra stand up for the future of their sons and daughters. It is time our father said no, Biafra or nothing more. Organized by the Association of Biafra Women, IPOP UK, under the leadership of Mazi and Nambi Kano, signed Law of Veronica Ijoma, the woman leader. This information is coming to you from the table of all state media, as directed by Lola Obi Mboma, Ikemaja, announcing. Yes, we are going home. Nothing more. Call on WhatsApp. Are you still there? Thank you for holding yes, on. Go ahead, Good please, my brother. Good morning, sir. Good morning, my brother. Go ahead, please. Uh, my name is Udenna uh, Mwachuku Anthony. I'm from Biafra land, on the Chaprovesi. But I'm calling right now from New Delhi, India. Um, I want to comment about um, what I have to say there is this. They are the ones we are looking for before. And now they are always doing something to sabotage our struggle. Today, they have already come for him. And he looking, he's seeking for help. And now our leader has already broke us about the APs. Now they are talking another issue. They wanted to leave him and the other things that is this and the other things. Now they all have to know in themselves, every of them, they have to go into themselves and know what they are doing because the, the zoo are not belongs to us. They are telling them, they are giving the sign from years ago and they have not even to notice the sign they are giving to them okay look at it from ebay to to a final from a final to a nothing now from a nothing to a piece and they are still standing a zoo government saying they are some of, they are not some of them government. some of them are destined to die some as them. idiots but understand because they want to die as idiots does not mean we should live like idiots and they buy in Sena, and they buy in Sena. Afu Ekura Nibu Eda, Okwaya. And that Eda, Eda, Eda Ku Mobere Gurante, Kinigeme. It's simple, I may not be able to pronounce it well. But when the elder sees and yeah. fails to speak, it kills the elder. But when the elder yeah. speak and the children refuse to obey, it kills the children. children. We must be justified at every end that we did what we are supposed to do. How they end their life uh, is best known to them. We send a message. You just say we they look person face for here. But we have to do what we have to do because we have to do what we have to do. It's as simple as that. Because we are, we are from Chukwoki called Biyama. Simple as that, my brother. Yeah. Um, now, they, they have already dissolved the issue of APs and other things. And another thing I, I have to comment is this issue i saw something yesterday on facebook i was sheer tears because of that when was leaker was gathering people and name of muscle 
I could remember when I was in Onitsha. I could remember men, my guys who died in training of Wazulike. And Wazulike betrayed them. And the Nigerian zoo government shot them. So many of them is my friend. I remember when they came back, some who survived started misbehaving in Onitsha. Kidnapping and the other things. It's those things, it belongs to Wazulike. Those men they kill in kidnapping on each other is because of Wazulike frustrated them. Collected money from Nigerian government. Today again, our people don't have ear to listen or to hear what is the sound. When Wazulike again are coming back again and drawing them to kill them again. And they are standing beside the Wazlika. I know you may listen to the, vo uh, the word I'm saying now in the Afro radio, but I say it my, open my and brother, pure. My brother. Because those people who died brother, that time, is many brother. are my friends, close friends. And I'm peering Let me today. tell you, when you hear Wazulike, no matter how you preach against Satan in the Bible, Satan will always have demon around him. Where you say, oh, they are social media, they are marching, they are this one. The question you should begin to ask yourself is, where are they doing this parade? And why is Nigeria not after them? And who are those people that follow him? Do you know Fulani where IPOB cloth and march in Biafra land? Do you know Fulani where IPOB cloth? And then they go and rob, so you say it's IPOB. Because they have put in on, don't you know this are Fulani working with Wazulike? He had built White House, Biafra White House in the Imo State. You don't even need to talk about people like that. Because it makes me hate myself, please. Please. Thank you so thank you so much, George Oniva, for your good work of the Afro to restore the uh, Soviet Union of the Afro. And uh, in this opportunity, I thank our leader, Mazen Nam Dikalo. I thank APT Uchemo for may God may Tukuoki Kobiama protect you, guide you, save you and give you more strength to restore the Afwa. And in this hour, I thank Mazi Okechuku, our national coordinator for India. I thank our zona coordinator. And, uh, those Westerly. of you in and India, those of you in India, our brother, what is his name? Mwachukiki. The guy locked up by oh, one yeah. Fulani Biafran in India. I hope you people are not keeping quiet about this matter. No, 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 we are we are discussing about that even yesterday. We are missing, we both of them, that. that coordinator, both of them must not be left that way. That idiot there, we yes. will respond to him at the right time. He's an idiot. Our, our national coordinator are doing right time to do everything. Thank you very time. much. I trust him in that way. And we must continue. Proper way. Yes, thank continue. you so much. Even I think our coach, our national coach, Mazi Uche, for his good work for our national team in India. I think all IPOP in West Delhi, I think all IPOP in India, and I urge every, I, every Biafrans in India to come along and join IPOP. It's only hope. And all over the world, wherever you are, look for any IPOP family and register your name. It's only hope Africa has. There's no other hope. There's no other person who can restore Africa without Mazen Nam Dekalo. Thank you so much, George Onibe, for your good work. God is faithful. We must continue. Be a friends all over the world. This is the time all of us must critically analyze the situation we have found in ourselves. Are you there, Kola, on the line? Call on the line, are you there? Call on the line, are you there? But of course, Zoo Epileptic Network. Our people must remain focused. Our people must understand that if we fail to do what we're supposed to do, nobody will. Are you there? Call on the line. Monitoring spirit. Good morning from here. Go ahead, please. book of 
That even before you got to carry on and create this world, he is already, before he created the hair, he was living by us, we human beings. Go to church. And my sister, please, from the deepest of my heart, I bless you with the name of Tukoti Kadama. No, none of your descendants will go astray as long as Biafra remains in Tani. You must only live to reap the fruit of your labor. No brother, no brother can dispute it. You have tried. Our FM is not that, but I am speaking based on my leader's broadcast last few days. Dear friends all over the world, our deputy made a broadcast yesterday. Listen, on your mom root the city, on your mom root the city, we are not talking here. They are teaching you that the world will end, the world will end, and everybody should repent and come back to God so that you will inherit the kingdom of heaven. But you don't know that it is happening life. That world is ending. The world is going to end. Trump, if you don't, if you don't say something about Biafra, now, nah, don't waste a perfect time. There is danger in the world. The eternal peace is about to reign. Go to Biafra, go to Isaiah chapter 2. You will have a lasting peace. Isaiah chapter 2. Make sure you people read it. Carefully. Without Biafra, there will be no peace on earth. Why can't you people understand? I don't want to take a wound in your back. I don't like that to chat. And I said, it's a sort of party for people shop. And I said, we'll profit from what they will do. My son, you know, I got a good job. Then you said, the fact that I got a good job. This is a tough project you never allowed to see for us. Then I'm the Gallo, Gallo, Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 49. Your people will see that that man that is sent to your people, whom he is, the only savior of the world. Can you understand? We are the children of Tukoti Kabiyama. Today, tomorrow, and we remain the children of Tukoti Kabiyama forever. No water can stop the Afra restoration. I can do only when you can do the Afra for Christmas. That is not the kind of trouble. The last miracle is this really the Afra that we take it. And I repeat this proverb to you people again. Our leader and us, we are one. Nobody can be our leader. Who can do what, who can do what he's saying? Thank God. Holy, holy, holy. Nandekano is another savior. And the throne is not a threat, it is a promise. Mark my word today, without the other. America will be a history. And uh, if you allow Biafra to enter into war with these jihadists, you must stop their fight. Because I got to die to, to, to find out of Biafra. And they will, they will scatter all over the world. There's no peace with the war they get. But Biafra will live in peace. All right, Biafra. Why do you do that? Thank you very much. We must continue. Call on WhatsApp. Are you there? I am there, Judge Onibe. Good morning from here. Go ahead, please. Good morning, my brother. I call in, several years I've been calling to get in touch with you to appreciate your work. But I'm privileged to be here today. I sincerely appreciate the effort of you friends. It is a generation, a generation will never forget the, this movement. Mazen Nam De Kano, George Oni Bay. There are a host of few friends that God is using to impact life. Hello? Go ahead, please. The word is listening. Yes. And uh, I so much believe that your work will never be in vain. Even those who pretend never to know what is happening know that this generation of Biafra, they are not, they are not playing. They are feeling the shock. And it is a mandate to restore the sovereignty of Biafra. A lot of evil has actually happened. Even things that human never imagined, they are happening in this region. 
those who tends to be representing the poor masses are doing nothing. I mean, the politicians, they are betrayers. They have done worse than man can imagine. Trinking to frustrate Biafrans. But they in, day out, in morning, night, you keep on awakening the minds of Biafra so that they keep focus. West can never appreciate all that you are doing. But one thing is that Chuhu Kiki himself has never forgotten you. He will surely bless his effort and hopefully Biafra will be restored. Then there will be peace. In fact, without Biafra, a common Igbo man never know that he's not existing in Nigeria, honestly speaking. Without Biafra, an Igbo man, any Biafra from the old eastern region is not existing. Honestly, I am a Jehovah witness, but I appreciate what you friends are doing. I often talk about Biafra because I believe that sometimes Jehovah says he never change. He does things in very diverse ways. If Jehovah can use persons like Cyrus, persons like Darius, persons like Alexander the Great to salvage his people, then can he not also use persons like George Onibe, persons like uh, uh, Nam De Kano, which I'm for, yeah, to salvage his people? He can. And so I pray often for you, friends, and say, keep on keeping on. We are together. And so I called him thank to say, thank much. you. Well done for what you are doing. Thank you very much, my brother. The Lord be with you. Yes, sir. Caller on the line. Your name and where are you calling from? Caller on the female line. Of course, as always, you will have the Zoo Epileptic Network. But we are not in a hurry. Caller on WhatsApp, are you there? Caller on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp, are you there? Call on WhatsApp. We must continue. Be a friend anywhere you are all over the world. Nobody will do this for us except we do it. Good morning, sir. Good morning from here. Go ahead, please. Bless our leader. Bless our deputy. About that. Bless our This is you. This is you. This is you. This is my Facebook that they don't block to share now and official and official everything I get from my Facebook. These people, God go, God go, judge, God go, God go, destroy these people one by one. This is your bad people. This is your bad people. God go, do do one by one. I pray for them, they can. I pray for you every morning, every night. God go soon as God go soon as true. God go soon as true because this country I pray by God now. This country are not buying it, but they know. Because even that in the middle of that, also to go to the Kama Come on, ask now. You know, I put on a radio every morning, every day. Now, Olenya Drani, forget to hear our brothers, governors, senators, and I'm feeling like I'm going to go to the Kuku. Come on, one day, one day, one day, one day, Oya am going to go to the Flag 
Ada, good morning from here. Go ahead, please. Ada, from Anambra State. I'm from Oka, calling from Oka. Go ahead. I ever had a topic this morning. I'm so glad about it. But that is not my problem. My problem that I want to emphasize is the word of God. Because he said that his word never changed. That he said his word not to come to pass. Heaven and earth will pass to you. But his word must surely come to pass. Let me turn it to the book of Jeremiah 22, 23 by 7. It says, The time is coming, says the Lord, when people will no longer swear by me as the living God who brought the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt. He said, they will swear by me as the living God who brought the people of Israel out of a, out of a northern land and out of all the other countries where I have scattered them. They, then they will live in their own land. So, what I'm excited on, that the word of God never changed, no matter how long it takes. He has promised that he will surely bring us out from those lions' mouths. And we strongly believe that his word never changed, and he must surely do it for us. And we will celebrate that day. And we swear by the Lord that brought us out of the land of not an answer. I say may his word come to pass in the land of Biafra. In Tupo Kabiama. See. He said, Thank you very much. Said, we must continue. Thank you. Colin, what's up? Are you there? Hey, my own brother, Mazi George Onibe. Good morning, sir, from here. Go the, ahead, please. The fearless, the fearless lion with a limitless life. On your God, 24-7. My greetings to you, special greetings to my Supreme Leader, Mazen Nandekano, and the only man I call Wokike, which I'm for, and all of you that are pioneering the struggle, I greet you from the bottom of my heart. And I appreciate the work you guys are doing. The problem with the zoo is that they do not know that the game is over. We thank Radio Biafra, Radio Biafra, Radio Biafra. Without Radio Biafra, many of us will not know the water that is passing under our feet. Many of us will not know how far we have gone to extinction without Radio Biafra. And this is why many of us cannot do without this Radio Biafra, because we are learning a lot from it. You see, the problem they should now have is because we are now enlightened. Here now, to the now with draft. Draft, can you know to the now? Look at this Mumu that brought in his speech. I call him an empty, empty brain. Empty brain. He cannot pass a bill that will fix the road. Eh? He cannot pass a bill that was top full and he's killing people endlessly without provocation. He cannot pass a bill that will fix the hospitals. He cannot pass a bill that will fix the schools. He cannot pass a bill 
that will give us pipe born running water. He cannot pass a bill that will give us 24 7 electricity. He already passed a bill, his hate speech. Imagine an empty brain. An empty brain. Eh? Hate speech in a democracy. No wonder my leader says that these people, <laughs> they, are, they are incapable of practicing democracy. Democracy is not in their dictionary. They want to muscle it, they've messed it up. Eh? It's going to set up an independent commission that will, uh, you know, uh, take care of his speech. INEC, what my leader say, INEC, 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 Independent Electoral Commission. Independent, independent of government, independent of states, independent of politicians, but they are massacring our democracy. They are rigging elections, left, right, and center. This is what they think we are fools. It's about time they realize that the people they are trying to kill, the people that are trying to inhalate, the people that are trying to muscle are far more intelligent than them. They have to realize this, Pastor You know, this is um, crazy. This is crazy. What is going on now in that zoo is crazy. And you can tell they are all panicking. They are all panicking because of IPOB. Hate speech. Deep down, who are these hate speech made for? IPOB. Because they want to stop the lack of us from criticizing them. They like, want to stop the lack of us exposing their, 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 their evil intentions against our people. They want to stop the lack of us from exposing the killing, innocent killing of, you know, the killing of innocent, you know, IPOB members. They're crazy. They are crazy. Okay, all I have said to you, thank you, my brother. God bless you. Keep on with a good job, and may God continue to strengthen and protect you. And to quote it, I must say. See, thank you very much. We must continue. God bless you, sir. Our people must understand. This is the time we have to critically analyze the situation we have found, out, found ourselves in. We must know who are these individuals, who are their collaborators, who are those sponsoring them. Very important. Are you there, caller on the line? Uh, good morning, Mazo. Good morning from here. Go ahead, please. Yeah, yeah this is Mazo Zoka. I'm Mazo Zoka. I'm from Ugucha. I'm here in River State, Ugucha. Uh, Mazo, uh, you have said all. No Igbo no Jasama that we would not hear, have never heard what you have said since a long time ago. But some of them still do in death and death. What is happening to our people now? Look at him, him of him, and this man they are talking about now. And is he the one that has gotten us before? But all of them are coming one by one, they will see this because even the men do leave them, not after again. All those people are supporting these people to kill us, they are, they are, they are, they are receiving this from now. Nothing now that now that kind of never said, even only that you have said all oh, every day by day. But our people are still good. Especially in the United States. Look at many villages. There's no family there. And we are confusing them with the American and these groups because of the envy. Something that you cannot do, you see somebody from this, you cannot support that person to go forward. My brother, what will I say and what will I not say? Our people, you see, I'm very apologizing them like this. Every one of them that is outside this country or that is inside this country also. When you say they call the zoo, they become so very angry. Why can't they the zoo? Where the madman is giving the traffic, controlling the traffic. The dead man is ruining them. And the country that they love this is part of more than human beings. What can they call the zoo? What is the name of the zoo? They see the truth, you cannot look at this is so like them. Say that what they they bring to the listeners to the party. This is the best person. And now they are, they are written, making up happen for that. That is the country that you cannot control all of this, that you cannot say the truth. What they are bringing to them is this. Okay, look at this, this one said that Nigeria is that today, that's so pretty, is there. Body closer, where are we are? Look at South South here, body closer. But now you can go there. Look at everything, at the Soko Pedro, everywhere, right? Foreign life, it's everywhere. There's a place for the local citizens to say that. We are here for this in the life. No, a bag of us, they can't take it from Lagos to here. They will save it. 
Donc, je vous ai dit, nous sommes en train de faire un peu Mais sinon, nous sommes en train de faire un peu de temps. Donc, à partir de la fin, nous sommes en train de faire un peu de temps. Et nous sommes en train de faire un peu de temps. Our people, please don't go to outside this outside that place. Get in this place now. Making something to happen. Make sure that these them that you open a family in their village. If everybody open family in their village, it will be okay for us. Because so many of our people, so many of our brothers, I could remember that we went went for this burial that time ago. I tell you more. There's no family that side that my same of. So what are we doing? But we are trying making things to happen. We have to go to home. And build our home to make sure that family is here. So the people will rejoice. So please let me go down. Let the people go on now. Thank you very much. Thank you. We must continue. Are you there? Call on WhatsApp. I'm there, Mazen. Go ahead. Mazen, to tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning, Mazen. This is uh, Mazen, Miss Clanton, Bam. Mm. Miss Clanton, the number one Nigeria owner. I'm making egg in a, in a, or in a, or. And my poor, I'm coming, call, calling you from uh, near, near right now, but I'm from uh, EZ, a born state, Biafra land. So I um, want to use this opportunity to thank you for your honorable work you are doing for us, and uh, also appreciate our leader, Maz Namdekano, and uh, our deputy, uh, Maz Chuka from EFO. So uh, I'm very happy to hear about this morning once again. It's been a while. A long time i'm trying to get you but uh, because of the, the people in the line is too complicated. thank you very much so i want to use this opportunity to thank you so uh, uh, there is a message a voice a message i sent you on what's about our people our brothers in india yesterday they are having a lot of uh, issue that the india government is attacking them but uh, the india government pay, the nigeria government pay india to attack them so I send you the first message because they need help. So so I uh, want you to look into it in our WhatsApp uh, extra uh, message. So thank you for this opportunity. And again, I want to use this opportunity to tell the whole world the problem we are, we are passing through. This uh, problem is uh, about uh, India, India, India government and uh, China. They use uh, Africa, especially Nigeria, as a will, as a tool as a tooth they use it as a tooth so when they manufacture kikina pepe and they manufacture okada to give us they want us to remain slave forever and they're driving kike and the, and the okada for them that is why they would don't want biafra to come because if they if they know that Biafra, if biafra come restored that all the all those rubbish will be stopped stop our people are dying every day by day by accident in okada and the kikina pepe some of that has already drive about a five kk some of them have already drive uh, uh, 10 or others, uh, 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 making account to India government and the uh, Chinese government. That is why they are fighting us. They, they, don't, want to, they don't want us to be free. So, but uh, when the times come, all the applying will be end because we have already knows all the, 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 the plan they are using against us. So I want to use this opportunity to tell our brothers, especially those who are driving KK and Okada, to be wise and use this opportunity to know the right thing to do and enter IPOP anywhere you are, join IPOP so that it will be free from this slumbers called Zoom Nigeria. When we are free, you will no need to. How can a, a, a man, a, a, a matured man, will go, go to school and after schooling uh, with PhD and the driving KK is not acceptable? And how can a man who can go to school after finishing in school and uh, driving Okada is not acceptable? God Almighty, I want to use the opportunity to call on you. So come to rescue of your, of your children. So Mazi, I want to use the opportunity to tell you that we in Newe here, we are trying our best. And also we, today, we want to use this opportunity to call all our Ekusigo local government to come and get, do the need for, according to what we are try, trying to do today. Everybody knows about it. So thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you that uh, everything will be done according to uh, in the right time so i want to use this opportunity also to tell all Z brother is this in Ebony state is is that equal whatever you are join biafra in the nearest place or send your data in biafra whatsapp number 
so that we just uh, maybe connect you to join the NARAS IPOP close to you. This time is not the time for sitting in the bedroom and sleeping. This time is not the time for gossiping. John Biafra, this is the right time. John Biafra, John Biafra, John IPOP worldwide, not join any organization against IPOP. Go join IPOP, leading by Mazinam the Okukano, so that you will be free from your slavery. And also the mental slavery you are. Stop gossiping. That is it. This is Mazin Mbam. It's calling from Newe. Thank you, Mazi. We must continue. Thank you, my brother. And hopefully this is where we draw the curtain for this morning segment. Make no mistake about it. Every Biafra must continue to critically analyze their situation and circumstance. You can choose to be playing one Nigeria, but it will dawn on you. People don't understand. We do what we do. Because we can't deny ourselves. We are Biafras. And we mean well for our people. I will sign off from here as you go about your lawful business across the globe. May the Lord be with you. Do have a nice day. And then I think I have to receive this call. One more call. Yes, Mazen uh, Badike. Good morning from here. Yes, sir. Mazen Yuba. Greetings yeah. from Brooklyn, New York. Go ahead. Uh, good morning to you. Yes. Um, it just have uh, been calling up on um, the program that we're having for the radio. And, and I thank you for this morning um, presentation. As our leader have told us that when people are coming after you and you keep quiet, they will keep running, running over you. As the issue that we you know that is trending now, you see under 24 hours, everything is dying off. And I thank you guys that are um, piloting this program the way it's being done. And um, we're getting ahead of where we are going. And my, not, nevertheless, about the, the real estate station that we're promoting that I'm piloting to, for Newe and Onisha province as a start, it's a little problem we're encountering on the way because most people that pay the money through their zones the Arizona coordinator is having problem giving them a receipt for us to update what we ha what we are doing here so that we can go into the next phase in piloting for other states that doesn't have the relay station. And um, it's an opportunity to tell them the Arizona coordinators, it doesn't matter the country where you are. If people pay for this relay station project, please try and give them the receipt so that they can post it to us to know what we are looking at and um, the next program that we're going to pick up. And um, as, um, I just see somebody that called from Newe. You see, as we're saying these things now, we still have a lot of uh, outside blood in Newe because I have a lot of Facebook um, group that I belong to that is from Newe and some of them are requesting for Facebook for to block me from posting Radio Biafra news on those platforms. So that's, that tells you that all these things that we're saying is everywhere, even in India where, where I came from. You know, I'm not a stranger from there. I'm on that Facebook group, and some people that are wondering the world with our blog are blocking this message from getting to our people who don't have the relay station. The only way they get to this news is by following the you know all this facebook group but as nevertheless as we are moving forward we're still gonna conquer all our enemies no matter where they are for people within this vicinity newe vicinity on the vicinity all newe south or all the provinces of newe kj hala agolo adazi Abatete, Obu, Obeledu, all the people from this axis, or Joto, Nobi. This program we're doing now is going to help us to pilot people that don't have this relay station in any way in Delta State, in Akwebon State. So try and make a contribution to this program. Even if you're not an IPOB member, you can call this number. We can tell you how you can make, some, make a payment. 
So if you guys have an access to the pen and the number is uh, plus one, nine, two, nine, three, two, six, two, seven, three, three. The number again, plus one, nine, two, nine, three, two, six, two, seven, three, three. Mazi, thank you for giving me this great opportunity to come in and air this program. And um, hopefully all the coordinators that are delaying to give out the receipt to people that donated money for this program will be able to do it this time, knowing that it's not a scam. Everything we're doing, we do it through the coordinators of IPO. All you need to do is to give them the receipt that they make the payment. We'll be able to keep the record of the revenue that we have getting to give this relay station because this is the only weapon that we have to fight our enemy. Mazia, thank you for this opportunity and um, we'll talk again. All right. Have a good day. Wanna talk about a man who loves Biafra? I wanna talk about a man who is a hero. I wanna talk about a man who has Biafra at heart. Oh, Namikano, I can see you, you are a god friend. Namikano, you are a hero to our world. You made a first step. You are a great man. You did a great work. You made a full speech. You are a great man. Now the kind of you are the one you read history like a man. Now the kind of you are the one you broke history like a man. Now the kind of you are the one we are talking about. You are the hero, the hero of our land. You made us to understand the history of the world. You made us to understand. You are a leader. I want to know you. You are a strong man. I want to know you. You are a strong man. Yeah. One last one over all. Yeah. One last one all over the world. Yeah, yeah from yeah. man. The lion who is in the Zion. Now the Kano, you are the one. Yeah. When I hear your voice, it yeah. makes me stronger. Yeah. When I hear your voice, I see the enemies trembling. Yeah. When I hear your voice, I see the platform stronger. The people in the Zion, everybody raise their hands for the hero. Hey, I'm becoming wrong. You are a good sense to learn. You set the trap, the zoo for inside it. Set a trap, you had a motion. You rise and fall. Yeah, you say so strong. Right. When you speak up loud, the hours I was confused. The Yoruba man has gone 